Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising of Capricorns. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of September 2017. As you can see, I've been shuffling for quite a while now and a uh, card popped out already. So let's get into your reading Capricorns. For those of you guys that are interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. Okay, so let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of September. Let's get into your reading, Cappies. Alright, so I'll be pulling out four cards for you, Capricorn, and then I will be pulling out four cards in reference to the person that you're dealing with or your partner at the present time. Or it could be, for, the, for those of you guys that are single, it could be... Um, the person that you're dealing with at the present or that you're interested in. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to be pulling out one more card, which is the current situation. Let's try and get me the current situation in regards to Capricorns. I'm not waiting for the mid month of September 2017. Okay, and here we go. All right. So your general energies is the full card Capricorn. You guys are starting anew. You guys are uh, beginning to take on a new journey. This could be in regards to those of you guys that are single. Perhaps you guys are currently dealing with a person that recently came back into your life. It could be a person that you knew in the past. Um, or it could be a new person that just recently came out um, and started to get to know one another or whatnot. Uh, the Fool definitely talks about taking on new opportunities. Um, a new cycle is beginning for you guys. And because it is specifically regarding love, uh, it's a new cycle that has to do with your love. So ending cycles could be a representation of ending relationships, detachments, uh, court cutting uh, from people from the past, etc. And the Fool is definitely inviting you guys to be spontaneous and take on new opportunities as they arise. Now, the current situation is the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles definitely brings about um, new beginnings, uh, a lot of messages coming through. But because it is a Pentacle suit, it's messages coming through in regards to um, things that could become concrete. So again, uh, if you guys are currently dealing with the person that just recently came back into your life, someone, a friend perhaps that you knew in the past, uh, that turned out to be interested in you. Uh, it's the beginning stages of the manifestation or the beginning stages, uh, stage, the beginning stages of the growth in this relationship. Okay. Pages are always about uh, communication, but it's very direct communication. So if they're interested, they're going to be very direct in letting you know, Hey, I'm interested in you. You know, we should, uh, give each other an opportunity to get to know each other on a deeper level, etc. For those of you guys that are currently in a serious monogamous relationship or marriage, um, the center issue has a lot to do with your children. So perhaps uh, those of you guys that are married, uh, you've been having issues not pr uh, precisely having to do with you and your partner, but more so a lot of family issues in regards to the children. So it could be having miscommunication with your children, not being able to be on the same page, um, a little bit of agitation from your children. Um, the page usually in pentacles usually represents a younger, you know, a younger child, but it can represent um, a child that, though they may come off as being immature because there's certain things that they do about them, obviously that they're young, uh, but there it's more of a practical type of approach. So it could be that you disagree on certain things that they're doing. And they disagree with you, not because they want to go against you, but more so because they feel that whatever they're doing resonates more to what they want. So this could be for those of you guys that have children that are going to college. It could be a representation that you're disagreeing with uh, what they're wanting to go to college for. Um, but again, it's it, because it is the, the pentacles. Th their practicality is grounded. So what you may want for your children may actually not be what's right for them. And you have to be okay with that. You have to allow them, even if it doesn't turn out to be to the best of their interest, they learned. So ultimately, uh, it's about coming together and agreeing to disagree or 
being okay with the fact that they want to do things their way. And it's not in an egotistical or immature way, but more so that maybe they don't have the experience that you have, obviously, and they see things very differently. Unfortunately, sometimes we all have different life paths, uh, different lessons that we need to learn. And because it is the pentacles, I do want to mention that you have to, well, you don't have to, but my advice here is uh, support them, whether it's in something that you disagree in. Again, like I said, because at the moment it resonates true to what they want to do. Okay. So that was a long spiel, <laughs> very direct. So uh, when it, when it has to do with you, Capricorn for the mid month of September, you have the Knight of cups and the page of cups so this is definitely love coming in it's a love offer um or someone that's genuinely interested in you and putting the effort uh, i know for some capricorns it could represent um a bit of a challenge when it comes to uh, people that are over emotional and what i mean by that is when they are very open to vulnerability sometimes as as a capricorn myself i kind of question um hmm why are they so giving? Why are they so loving? Why are they so putting the effort if it's just the beginning stages? So for us, it could be a little bit difficult to understand that obviously every different sign uh, connects and reacts to emotions on a very different level. So for example, um, a Pisces or a uh, a Scorpio, if they're interested in you, they will let you know off the bat that they're very interested and they will invest um, in Aries as well because Aries could be very uh, daring. Uh, they will let you know off the bat that they're very interested in you and they'll put the effort versus if you compare that to like, let's say a Libra, a Libra would kind of, you know, chase, but then let you chase, etc. So anyways, the challenge here for the mid month of September is accept the love or the efforts that people are giving to you and don't be so uh on the defensive okay now you do have the nine of pentacles here and the nine of pentacles definitely talks about um because it is a love rating it is talking about uh the opportunity of actually making this a long-term commitment or a long-term relationship pentacles are always about the material so i'd rather see um instead of like the ace of cups come out for a love reading, um, which obviously has to do with emotions, but it could be temporarily versus the Ace of Pentacles. It's like the promise for it's a good omen in, in love ratings because it's the promise for the materialization of a long term commitment. So again, the Nine of Pentacles is one step away from the Ten of Pentacles, which is, you know, engagements, marriage, etc. So for a lot of you Capricorns, you guys are definitely dealing with the person that is definitely interested in you guys, not just interested in you guys, but that is actually willing to put the effort uh, to see this, uh, to see this manifest, to see this come through in the long run. So again, like I said, um, be very uh, open about receiving that love and that appreciation that is being given to you Capricorns. Now you do have the hanged man here and the hanged man could be, um, it could be you uh, where you're at mentally in regards to this person that's coming into your life. You're kind of like uh, you're open to it, but at the same time, you're just waiting for developments. Um, it can also be that they could they could come off as being a little bit. Um, what's the word? A little bit superficial, not on a deeper level. And I know Capricorns could tend to be very deep. Um, but here the hanged man is definitely talking about be patient when it comes to getting to know someone. Um, so again, like I said, if you assume that they're not as deep as you are Capricorns, try the best you can not to be so judgmental. There's a waiting period where you have to allow, uh, the connection and the progression of getting to know this person. Okay. Now how this person is seeing you at the present time. There's the four of pentacles, obviously the materialization of a long-term commitment. Um, they see you as a little bit detached. They see you as you're not um, very upfront about what you want or if you're interested in them. Um, and then they have the three of wands here. The three of wands, uh, you could be dealing with the fire sign or you could be dealing with the water sign because you do have the knight here and the page of, of water, sorry. Um, of cups so you guys may be dealing with the water sign or you may be dealing with a fire sign so a water sign would be a scorpio cancer pisces a fire sign would be a sagittarius a leo 
or an Aries. And the Three of Wands, they're definitely thinking about you. You're constantly on their mind. Um, and it probably has to do with the fact that they have a lot of questions in regards to who you really are. Like they're excited about getting to know you. Uh, perhaps you're a little bit hard for them to read. A little bit of a challenge perhaps even. Um, so they're definitely waiting um, for you to you know connect with them on a deeper level they're excited about this and they're definitely investing putting the effort again like i said constantly thinking about you and for some it can also represent that there's a distance right now because you do have the hanged man here and with the hanged man and the three of wands it could be a representation of a long a long distance relationship at the present time and it probably has to do with business or finances either for you or for the the person you're dealing with um, but again, like I said, the three of wands is definitely the thinking, uh, the constant, you know, reaching out and talking or connecting with one another. Uh, but there's also an anxiousness to this three of wands. And I feel that the anxiousness behind it has a lot to do with the fact that you're kind of hard to read. So you keep them on their toes, but they're definitely invested and committed. And the reason why I say that, even if it's the beginning stages, is because you see how he's clearly looking onto the four of pentacles. So this could be you. Uh, Capricorn and it's like yeah you know this Capricorn is defensive they have a wall they're protecting themselves but at the same time I'm still wanting to get to know them I'm still curious about them um, so they're definitely very open to the mysteriousness behind you Capricorn now the magician card here is definitely a representation of the you know it's this type of connection on a deeper level okay on a deeper level, um, this type of connection that there is may be dealing with a person that has always wanted or desired or wished for a person like you, Capricorn. Or it could be a representation of you um, wanting or desiring a person like them. Um, and it's like universe is finally bringing that to you and it's bringing that to you uh, based on the fact that the same stigmas or the same obstacles you've had in the past perhaps is something that they've dealt with as well in the past because the three of swords is here so the three of swords here is definitely representing you know hurt uh, betrayal uh, even cheating um, but even through that difficult stage in their life uh, the magician is here to say you know I'm getting the sense of this three of swords in reverse so when it's in reverse position, meaning like this, the swords are coming off. There is healing and there's a healing energy. And if you can see here around the, the circle of the heart, uh, it's, it's a kind of orangey yellow type of energy, which is a healing energy, but it also speaks about the intuition. So if you connect intuition to your heart, there are strings connected to this person and there's a reason why this person is coming into your life or there's a reason why you're coming into this person's life okay so i hope that makes sense uh for some of you guys again the magician is definitely they see you very capable they see you there's something that they admire about you whether it's the way you do business whether it's um that you're an entrepreneur whether it's the emotion and determination that you put behind whatever it is you're passionate about it can even be like having really deep passionate conversations they admire that because they see that not just on a deeper level but they have major respect for the fact that maybe you're very different in comparison to what they're used to dealing with okay now for those of you guys currently that are again like i said in a long-term committed relationship um the knight of cups and the page of cups is definitely talking about you are seeing your partner as very loving very caring um you know even uh, extremely sexual at the present time with the nine of pentacles there is a balance coming in that has to do with finances so if some of you capricorns have been dealing with a little bit of finance issues um i wouldn't say like scarcity of it but just a little bit tight you guys are going to be going through a um you guys are going to be going through a cycle where abundance is going to start to flow in and based on that you you guys are going to be having this time uh, to actually put effort into working on the relationship. So for those of you guys that have children, uh, perhaps you guys were dealing with um, someone being laid off or uh, a partner that stays at home 
And again, like I said, you guys didn't have much to spend because tight was or money was tight. Um, but with this with this hanged man here, there's definitely a feeling of not just the abundance with the nine of pentacles, but also the ha having the time to see your relationship in a different perspective. So if you guys were so concerned and focused on the family dynamic for the mid month of September going into the beginning of October, you guys are going to start trying to reconnect or rekindle the passion within you, you guys as a partnership. OK. Now, how your partner is viewing the situation, the Four of Pentacles definitely talks about being a little bit restricted, um, but I feel that in, uh, versus being restricted, uh, the Four of Pentacles is that you've created, a, they see you that within the time that you guys were struggling, when it comes to money and finances, uh, there was this wall that came up where they couldn't get through to you or they couldn't get close to you. But because the Three of, uh, the three of Wands is here, it's like now you guys are starting to come together. And again, like I said, the rekindling, the reconnection of the partnership. The magician card here is definitely talking about the manifestation. So it's the manifestations of your prayers, whatever you've been asking for, or hoping for, and your partner as well. Now, the three of swords here, again, like I said, I do feel it like it's in the reverse position. So more than likely, the strives, the struggles, um, the hardships that you guys have been dealing with, all of that is going to start to dissip, uh, dissipate throughout the mid-month going into the beginning of October. And again, like I said, uh, be mindful when it comes to your children. Uh, try to support them the best way you can, even if you don't agree or you don't understand where they're coming from. Uh, put effort in understanding and knowing that we all learn in due timing. Okay, so everything has to do with time. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment my videos if you haven't subscribed. Subscribe to my channel and we will be hearing from each other uh, the beginning of October. Okay, bye.